Don't expect these games to coddle you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 games that don't hold your hand. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the game series that offer very little in the way of guidance and tutorials. While many of the games on this list are pretty hard, it's not a list of the hardest games, but games where you will most likely have to rely on external guides and wikis to make sense of what to do. Number 10, Shadow of the Colossus. Regarded as one of the PS2's greatest achievements, Shadow of the Colossus is an action-adventure game that applies a twist to the Save the Princess theme. Instead of jumping on a ton of slow-moving enemies, here you gotta face a series of 16 giant bosses known as Colossi, and it's up to you to figure out how to defeat each one. The player has to discover how to bring down each Colossus through trial and error, and each presents an increasingly unique challenge. Number 9, Minecraft. Minecraft revolutionized the base building sandbox game and showed players how creative they can get in a large blocky world, with the right resources, of course. Minecraft forces you to rely on your own creativity and experimentation to make sense of it. The simple task of making a house can often seem daunting if you don't know what to do. But browsing endless wikis on crafting items and finding resources is just kind of Minecraft's initiation phase. From then on, it's really up to you, but like I said, get a good wiki. Number 8, Cophead. Don't be fooled by Cuphead's beautiful art style, as it hides beneath it the punishing difficulty of old-school bullet hell shooters. The game's core gameplay is a series of multi-stage boss fights, where frustration and rage quits are sadly all too common. There is rarely a moment in the game where the screen is not filled with things that can kill you, and you'll find yourself praying that your muscle memory will save you from the zillion murderous objects coming at you in every direction. And just when you thought that you've memorized a boss attack pattern, that boss will throw an attack that you haven't seen in your previous fights, and, well, then you're toast. <laughs> Number 7, EVE Online. EVE Online gives you the freedom to explore one of the largest virtual universes in a multiplayer game, and that freedom can get overwhelming quite fast. You will be exploring the thousands of star systems and wormholes, learning the different ship classes, and going through menus upon menus of skills and attributes. The game's virtual economy alone is a maze of trade goods, piracy, market manipulations, and player-run corporations, with their own CEOs and middle managers. This is the type of game that you should probably bust out an Excel spreadsheet for. Move your mouse over the wreckage and hold down the left mouse button. A radial menu will appear. Number 6, XCOM series. One of the cornerstones of PC gaming, this turn-based strategy series started in 1994 with XCOM UFO Defense, and it was later revived in 2002 with XCOM Enemy Unknown. Aliens have invaded, and it's up to you and your team of super soldiers to defeat the alien menace. This means that you have to optimize each individual character's build and make complex tactical decisions to approach battles. XCOM will also teach you the true meaning of despair when your favorite soldier dies because the RNG gods were not smiling upon them. We failed to stop the enemy, Commander. The entire squad has been killed in action. Number 5, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I saw somebody right here. Oh no. Taking inspiration from the Battle Royale films, as well as games like DayZ and H1Z1, PUBG perfects the Battle Royale formula. Well, unless you're playing Fortnite. Anyway, you start the game by being literally thrown out of a plane, and then you are left either on your own or with a small team to scavenge for supplies and weapons in order to fight for survival. Don't expect to find any tutorials or bot matches in PUBG though, because this game takes learning by doing to the extreme. So go out there, get killed enough times, and eventually you'll learn to not get killed. Hopefully. Yeah. Nick, Nick, run away! Nick, run away! Nick, run away! Oh my gosh. Number 4, Darkest Dungeon. Oh. 
Darkest Dungeon is a turn-based RPG where you manage a team of heroes to explore dungeons, fight enemies, and collect loot. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, that is until you realize that the game features 14 different classes, different enemy types, all of which require different classes to defeat, and a plethora of items that you need for that extra edge in battle. There are so many moving parts that any small miscalculation in battle will, and we say will, lead to the permadeath of a party member. You also might have to keep an eye on your party member's stress levels, or they might actually die of a heart attack. No, seriously, that's what happens. The Darkest Dungeon. Number 3 Total War Warhammer Series. The Total War series is no stranger to intricate gameplay, and the Warhammer series continues this tradition. You will be micromanaging your own empire's military, culture, happiness, and resources while keeping tabs on all the enemies that want to kill you and the allies that want to stab you in the back too. And that's not even the toughest part of the game. If you want to win those huge battles, you'll have to manage literally thousands of specialized units on your way to victory. While the game does offer a tutorial, the vast majority of the game's deeper mechanics can only be understood through a lot of trial and error. Number 2. Divinity Original Sin Series The Divinity series takes plenty of inspiration from old-school PC RPGs like Baldur's Gate and Planescape Torment. This means that you basically have to forego the modern genre conventions that you're used to, such as an easy crafting system or in-depth combat tutorials. Instead, you'll have to rely on dialogue, exploration, and reading road signs in order to find your way. But that doesn't count the combat, which you're just going to have to try. The game gives you very little introduction on how to approach battles or interact with NPCs either. Kill the wrong character or choose the wrong dialogue option, and you're going to be locked out of certain missions for good. You can't teach a fool anything. Number 1. Souls Series Finally, we reach the poster boy of no hand-holding. The punishing hack-and-slash RPG formula, which was introduced in Demon Souls, is still going strong in its successors. The Souls games drop you into a vast, dark fantasy world where you feel as insignificant as the skeletal corpse laying next to you. As you explore the series of inhospitable locations, the otherworldly horrors will kill you, and you will die, die again, and die some more until the phrase, you died, is burned into your retinas and etched into your subconscious. But once you pull yourself up by the bootstraps and get good, you'll have one of the most rewarding experiences in modern gaming. Just don't expect to learn how with the tutorial. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.